Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ADOM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then just makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where the green and red line annotations are coming from, and wanna get things updated here. Although update's probably not the right word, confirmation would be more of an accurate term, uh, because we, you, know, you look at the, the levels that I talked about, and they pretty much played out just like you would expect them to. The main point of confirmation comes via the levels of resistance I talked about, being re represented up here by this red line right here, at about 97 cents. And you can see early in the morning, surprise, surprise, that's essentially right where the price did get rejected from that point and you know, back down it went. So I'm not saying the price can never get up above 97 cents a dollar, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just saying that it's really been confirmed now that according to the story of the chart, the bulls apparently are gonna really have to bring their A game to not only fight above that level, but then also be able to stay up above it because I say stay up above it, because yeah, a couple of times the price has actually been able to get up above it, but then when it comes to maintaining those gains, it, it just can't quite uh, remain up above that area. So point here being at 97 cents, still that overall area of resistance. And more of a near term level, uh, the one thing that's just caught my eye is this pink line right there which is that 200 period simple moving average. And you can see that ever since the price has fallen back below it, I mean, there have been several times, about what is that, about four or five times where the price tried to get back up above it and couldn't quite do it. So that still remains that key level of resistance going forward. I uh, know you are not crazy. The market is actually still open for another few minutes. So uh, if this candle, you see that change, you're not seeing anything. The market, like I said, still open. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But really, you know, whether it closes down here or right where it is right now, doesn't really matter because from the big picture of things, the price is still hanging on there um, in all senses uh, from a support standpoint, not only from staying up above that green line, which I talked about yesterday with, you know, why that's important, but also it's still up above that purple line there, the 50 period simple moving average. So any way you look at it from a support standpoint, uh, you know, all the, uh, you know, the, the price is staying above all those levels of support. And that's what you want to see. So 75 cents, really the overall key level of support next week. And then uh, that first level of resistance uh, at uh, that 200 period, and the next key overall level of resistance up at 97. So yeah, next week should be pretty interesting. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.